and welcome back to another episode of Blow It Out. My name is Clifton, and these are my co-hosts, Linnea and Michael, and this is the show for and by wrestling fans. In today's episode, we're going to quickly go over WrestleMania 24 and our picks for each one of the matches. So, we'll begin with the uh, the Bunny Mania Lumberjack match. My favourite! <laughs> Alright, let me just oh, say yeah. who's in it. We've got Candice, I think. Is she injured or is she working through it? She's... She's injured, that's sad. But she's gonna come. She's one of my favourites. Alright, and then we've got, <laughs> move on, we've got Maria versus Beth Phoenix and Melina. Who's your picks, guys? Oh, Why do you sound match. so tired? This is the match that I will be going to. <laughs> this is the drinks match. Pour drinks and make dips and chip and, and just listen to it. Uh, but if I have to choose, even though I won't be watching it, I yeah. will pick um, Beth Phoenix and Melina. Although, I really don't think that's going to happen. I would like Beth Phoenix to win because she can wrestle, but it's it's Maria's Playboy cover thingy. So, True. unless, no, I'll stick with Candice and Michelle. I would say Maria um, and Candice. <laughs> Maria and Candice. Okay, ECW Championship. We've got Chavo versus the winner of the Battle Royal. Who's going to go and win the Battle Royal, guys? I would say. I'm putting my money on Kane. Mm. Okay. This is his yeah. last chance to get a huge push and they should give him the ECW title, which is worth nothing by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll move on to the next one. We've got 24 man battle royal. I think I've already said that. Unless um, my co-host Linnea would have something else to say. No, I which agree. usually she gives wrong predictions. Yeah. No, I put Kane because who else is gonna be in that battle royal that's gonna win it? No right. one. Everyone else is involved in other matches, um, but I think that Chavo will retain the ECW title against Kane. This would be another Michael. huge push for him if Chavo retains, because it will be the first WrestleMania in which he retained a prestigious title. The last time he held the Cruiserweight title, it wasn't that prestigious now, was it? <laughs> <laughs> it still isn't. It's gone. It's gone. It's dead. <clears throat> Big Show versus Floyd Mayweather. Big Show. Big Show. Big Show. Okay. Um, career threatening match, Ric Flair versus HBK. Ric Flair? HBK. Ric Flair. HBK. Ric Flair is retiring. Yep, I'm going to say Ric Flair is going to retire. Please don't do it on a day after, that'd be horrible. <laughs> no, I would like that. <laughs> Those of us who pay 20 bucks for the pay-per-view want it to be on that day, please. Mm. Those of us fans who love Ric Flair wouldn't want him to retire at WrestleMania because he lost. We want him to retire where people don't see him, that is on Raw. Not WrestleMania, he should beat Shawn Michaels. No, HBK will win. No, I don't think he could beat Shawn Michaels unless he had help out. Unless he's taking steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on, okay. <laughs> Smackdown versus Raw, Batista versus Umaga. Smackdown. Smackdown Just because I like the brand. I don't really like Batista. He's yeah. too big. I like Batista. I like Batista, he's cool. <laughs> and he's going to win. Belfast Raw, JBL versus Finlay. I like JBL. He teaches you how to get rich. This is going to be interesting because I think it's going to be JBL with Mr. McMahon in his corner, Finlay with Hornswoggle in his corner. So. And that's why Finlay's going to lose because he has yeah. Hornswoggle. Yeah. I think Finlay's going to win it. I think. Yeah, yeah I don't. I, I really. I mean, don't WrestleMania know. is like a fairy tale, you know. It's like mm. all the good guys should win. Yeah. No, I think my vote is on JBL. I really do hope you win, JBL. I'd like to see JBL win. I think it would be a great match, actually. I'd love to see it. But mm. I think JBL is going to win simply because of the size factor. Yeah. OK, we're a bit divided there. Definitely winning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, uh, Money in the Bank later match. MVP versus John Morrison, Carlito, Chris Jericho, CM Punk, Mr. Kennedy, and Shelton Benjamin. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho. Just because Jeff Hardy's not there. Mr. Kennedy. Jericho. I said it from the beginning and I will continue to say it. He'll win and he'll cash Let's in. Let's think realistically, bank. guys. Yeah. Jericho <laughs> has been actively been involved with angles with MVP and this coming week on Raw with CM Punk and Carlito. Mm. Where but, is Mr. Kennedy? But doesn't that point to the fact that they're going to build this feud between MVP and Jericho and they're going to mm. be so busy with each other, yeah. someone else is going to win the money yeah. in the bank. 
I have no comments. <laughs> <laughs> I would like MVP to win it. I don't think he's had it before. I don't think he's going to win it. No, I'd like him to win it. I think it'd be cool. He's trying to win some teams. Kennedy's had it before. Jeff Hardy's had it before. Three of these aren't. Well, is that about it? It's a. Uh, <laughs> so each. I like oh, no, MVP. He's yeah. Okay. World Heavyweight Championship, Edge versus Undertaker. I Undies. hope Edge Undertaker. puts Undertaker into retirement. Undertaker, no, 16 and 0, no Undies. question. Undertaker. Yep. I have to go with Undertaker because everybody loves him, <laughs> but I really hope that Undertaker injures himself and oh. Edge puts him out of business. And then Edge will be the next Undertaker. Undefeated WrestleMania no streak starts this year. Mm. Edge is Edge. He works fine ways. Each one of us have our own opinion. <laughs> <laughs> As in, Michael has his own opinion. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and of course, finally, we've got the WWE Championship with Triple H, Randy Orton, and John Cena. John Cena. John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> All three of us like John Cena. Is yeah. there something wrong with you? No, no. I think. I Why? Why? I Why? just don't think that. I think that's the way the WWE wants to end. John Cena will win the bout, he'll get his little spinner belt, belt back, <laughs> and they'll sell t shirts and sell merchandise. Yeah. And then Mr. Kennedy will come out and steal it. After winning the money in the bank. My prediction. Yeah. Well, let's have a look and let's see. Let's see. I mean, I like Cena because he's. I can't believe I'm going to say he's cool. <laughs> he's not. He's my best pick in the match of losers. Yes. So, yeah, that's it from me. We don't. None of us want Triple H to win, that's the bottom line. Yeah. And what do you feel after seeing last, uh, last week's match of Raw with, uh, say, I think it was Randy Orton and John Cena taking on the whole of the roster, Raw roster? I think it was a creative spin. Yeah. I think uh, having the match coordinated so well, RKO's flying everywhere, FU's, just a few. Uh, I think it was a well coordinated match. It was very creative, and that was mm -hmm. the part where I love John Cena again. <laughs> I don't still think he's cool. But yeah, I think they've managed to bring back his character in yeah. that match, yeah. I liked it. I thought it was interesting. The members of War that they put out there were pretty much easy beats, most of them, except for Omaga. And JBL. And J well, JBL. And JBL, yeah. You've got to admit facts that he is good. So, but um, it, was, it was fun to see them tagging and working their way through an entire roster and then Triple H coming out in the end, inevitably to deal to the both of them, so... So Triple H is a weekly. You think that sort of uh, the sort of pushing the emphasis on Triple H possibly winning it, well, beating them. Well, yeah. I I would think that of course um, in the prelude into WrestleMania they would need to highlight each of the main contenders' strong points. Mm. So they highlighted Randy Orton. Well, I think no, nah, they didn't. He's a villain. <laughs> he just get kicked everywhere. Uh, Triple H and Cena are seen as the heroes right now. Yeah. So I think around this week, John Cena will be looked upon as being king. Well, last week it was Triple H. Yeah. So yeah, I guess it's a WrestleMania gimmick, you know. But put them in a match, I'm pretty sure John Cena would kick ass. Can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> I think it was a good way to high, you know, to promote WrestleMania going into WrestleMania 24. They needed a really strong match. To show that these guys can actually fight because there's always been lots of questions around John Cena being actually able to wrestle and Randy Orton because they are a bit lazy in their matches. So it was nice to see them actually go out and do some wrestling even though it was pretty much the same moves but yeah. it was the best I've seen them perform in a while. And they so usually do that before um, a main event mm. like um, WrestleMania. They have all of the roster come out and there was a nice different way of doing it yeah. I guess. On that note, we're going to end it there. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or would you like to ask us a question, please leave one in the box below. We're all experts. We're all experts, yes. Um, and also, if you'd like to subscribe, if you like what you're seeing, please do that. Click on the orange box um, above somewhere. And we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye. See ya.